Hello guys, what's going on? It's Ross here. And before I get into this video, I just want to say uh, there's a reason why I haven't uploaded in the past month or two. I stopped doing FIFA videos and stuff. If you want to know like the reasoning for that story, I'll tell you that in another video. Maybe just give this video a like or a comment if you do want to hear that story. But yeah, okay, so another thing, one last thing before I get in this video. This story that I'm about to tell you is my, like, obviously what's going on in my life and I don't want anyone to think for whatever reason that I'm bragging or boasting or whatever you want to call it about. You know, what's going on in my life is nothing to do with that. Uh, I don't know why anyone would boast about it anyway. Um, but I feel like I like to keep you guys updated and I want to start doing that more, you know, giving you guys little stories from my life and... Uh, you know, it might not be interesting to you, I don't know. Also, um, the gameplay in this, they're just going to be party games, because that's all I've really played. I barely play COD anymore at all, but I thought I'd get some COD up, but I only wanted to play party games, so they're going to be f a few games, maybe one or two flawless games, and the rest will just be me coming first. No amazing kill-death ratio, no amazing gameplay, just me winning party games okay guys so that's it that's the intro done that took a minute and a half so let's get on with the story anyway so I'm gonna probably ramble on a bit today but I wanna take you right back to when all of this started okay so for those of you that don't know I've been doing a college course for three years and while I was doing that college course like most students I knew that I needed some sort of income I needed money you know I, want, I wanted to get myself a car, which I'd done, um, but you know, so I needed money to fuel that and everything. So, ended up getting a job down at my local supermarket, which a lot of people would probably laugh at because you know it's not the greatest of ideas of a job. But I'm going to name the supermarket, it is Sainsbury's. Um, good company, you know, especially here in the UK. I mean, it's just like your local grocery store in America, you know, but it's a massive chain in England. I don't know where else they spread over, I think it is only in the UK, um, maybe Ireland, but yeah, anyway, so, okay, so yeah, decided just before one, not not the Christmas gone, the Christmas before that, that I was going to get a job there, started off working on the checkouts, actually, you know, sitting there doing people shopping and stuff like that, but I was only a temporary, so in the January, they said they couldn't keep me anymore, they couldn't afford to keep a few of us, so, obviously, we got taken off and then I got a call back in March of last year saying that they had a part-time job for me while I'm at college to basically load some vans again at Sainsbury's for home delivery so if you don't know what home delivery is it is where you go on the internet on on the Sainsbury's website and you choose all your shopping on there and it gets delivered to your door nice and easy and yeah I'm one of the people that sorts all the shopping out and loads it onto the van so it's a really crap job to be honest uh, it's not fun at all and oh excuse my phone um, but yeah uh, so it's, it's a really crap job especially in the winter you know out being outside in the freezing cold I had to start at 6 in the morning loading vans but I, I pursued with it I kept going with it I didn't give up I was never really late you know I never I was never you know, off sick, I was always there, and no matter what, on the f coldest day of winter, I was there, so cold, I can't even begin to tell you, and yeah, so, outside, loading vans, done that for about, a, well, about a year and a half now, and then the other day, an opportunity came up for me, and I ended up going for the interview, and I got it, and basically now, I've managed to get myself a full-time job in the head office of Sainsbury's in London, which, to be fair, as a first full-time job is pretty decent. Um, you know, working with the top people in London, it's uh, it's gonna it's gonna be scary, but that also means that obviously any videos I'd now try and put out will pretty much be weekend-based only. But I feel like because I'll be more on a schedule of work I will then be able to schedule my uploads and actually try and get videos out for you there'll probably be little party games and stuff like that like what you know I've done on this video but just single party games and I'll just talk about some stories or whatever you know maybe some FIFA videos 
we'll have to wait and see but yeah so obviously this job opportunity is very very big for me and my future it can really get me you know it can open up a lot of doors for me and um yeah all 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 my managers at work and stuff were really quite pleased and everything so yeah i mean it's it's one of them things that you know i was in the right place at the right time but all the hard work paid off and uh to be honest, I just had a good attitude about work, you know, anything my bosses asked me to do, I'd done. I put in loads of extra hours, constantly, week in, week out. And, to be fair, now it finally feels like I'm actually getting rewarded for my hard work. Like, the the hard work is starting to pay off now, and, you know, I'll, I'll be in a nice warm office in London, instead of outside loading vans this winter. So, yeah, in terms of where I've come, you know, I've come a long way and uh, it's something that I'm not very self-proud about myself about many things, but this is one thing that I can, you know, I'm I'm quite proud of myself for just what I've done and all that, but yeah, so I don't want to get too soppy on you, but yeah, that's, that's basically it in a nutshell, so yeah, I start that in a, just under, it's about, it's about a week and a half, so, or a bit less actually, so yeah. And uh, that's that really guys, I wanted to try and get through that story quick because I didn't want to actually ramble on too much about it, but yeah, so that's that's all I really have to say about that. Do you know what, I might as well, while I'm here, quickly tell you guys, yeah, where I've been. Okay, so after uploading all those FIFA videos, I put a lot of effort into them. To be honest, they didn't get much feedback. Um, I didn't expect loads of likes or loads of views as such, but I just, you know, a few comments and stuff, just people you know, being there and nice and, you know, like, I don't know, you know, even if it's criticism, you know, it's, uh, if people want to give me criticism, that is absolutely fine, as long as I'm told how to improve the videos, you know, not just say my video's shit, just say, you can still say my video's shit, but then say why, I say what do I need to do, you know, and then that's absolutely fine, but yeah, so, obviously, that then sort of didn't motivate me much, and then I was actually going to upload a real-life vlog, because I went to go and see... Professor Green, who is an English rapper who's quite an acquired taste, not many people like him, but you know, I'm a fan, so uh, got some tickets and went to see him at my local town, and actually had loads of footage of that, and I still do, but I was going to upload it as a vlog, and then I had it all ready, and then for some reason I just haven't, I haven't rendered it, and I haven't uploaded it, obviously, because then it was about... A f it was in. It was about three days after that I went to that concert. I then went on holiday with my girlfriend for two weeks to Spain, which was amazing. I've got some great stories for that. If you want to know uh, about them, please, you know, put it in the comments, and I'll I'll show you. I'll tell you some stories from my holiday. May even add in some things, some pictures and stuff that I don't know. No, I probably won't add that. No, no. But I'll do. I don't know. I'll. Show, do some vlogs maybe it depends what you guys want but yeah so that was that was that so then I came back from there and then obviously I just got my head down with work like I told you guys and just kind of not forgot but just didn't have much motivation to upload I didn't know what to upload I'm bored of playing COD I don't mind party games like I said but that's pretty much it I'm waiting for all the next gen games to come out next gen consoles and then I want to start uploading again you know this winter I want to try and Upload maybe some Battlefield for you guys, some, um, um, maybe some COD, depends what, if, it depends, I might do some, I probably will do some COD, um, some new FIFA 14, and obviously PS4 and stuff like that, as soon as that comes out I'll get it and, uh, and do some games on there, uh, I've seen a Trials game that looks really good, so yeah, maybe I'll do something like that guys, but yeah, so that's, that's pretty much that, um, that sorted but yeah so now I want to try and get a little bit more active before the next gen consoles come out if there is any questions you guys want or anything cleared up you know I can talk more about you know I'll give you more stories about my life I, I don't I don't know I'll, I'll um, think of some things that's if you guys want to hear it because you know you probably don't give a shit about my life to be fair and I don't blame you really but you know, I like I like it when other YouTubers do this sort of thing and and explain what's going on in their life or stories they've got. I really do find them quite interesting, guys. So I'm going to leave it at that. So it's around 10 minutes long. 
But thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it, everyone that does watch, all the 20 of you. <laughs> all right, guys, but cheers. Have a good day, and I will see you hopefully very soon. Cheers, guys. I'll try and get some party games up for you. All right, peace.